Hey, what's up guys? It's Azai here, and today I've got the most nerfed robots and weapons from every year and all in a hangar together for you. So, we're gonna start off with a Deathwing Aljun, or just Aljun, it doesn't really matter, and uh, I can make this one pretty quick and simple. The Aljun did not age well. Not only has it been nerfed, but it's still bugged out, flamethrower never works, and he is overall just in a really rough spot. I would never suggest that you guys like use or try to like buy or level up or whatever anything don't don't interact with Aljun. This poor thing is just dead. Uh, I couldn't make it work. It, its ability isn't just on, on a long cooldown, but the ability just sucks as well. The calamities on it though, they have some redeeming qualities. Now these are tier three weapons, and it kind of sucks like their lock on time. It's it's annoying, you know. Most new weapons nowadays just don't have that feature. They can just lock on without locking on. The calamities though, even with the lock on, they are decent. They are pretty strong at close range. They do some pretty decent damage. I would just say there are weapons that just generally out damage them in most aspects. So you would probably want to avoid calamities but if they are all you have they are decent now i want to go on to the hawk uh, and the hawk with the nucleon and corker is in basically the same spot as the deathwing Aujin. um the issue with this is again we have a robot that just has like a crummy ability that's been nerfed to hell and weapons that are good weapons they are strong nucleon and corker are great weapons but they are just outclassed by many other things that do the same thing as them now the thing about Nucleon Corker and Calamity as well is when they went and they did that 40% weapon tuning, the balance patch, uh, they actually basically unnerfed these. 40% damage buff, 25% damage buff, uh, they basically lost the nerf. Now they are, they kind of act like they did before. So they're good, they're pretty decent. But a lot of robots with built-in weapons kind of suffered from that balance patch because they never buffed the built-in weapons. So all of these weapons are doing way more damage nowadays, but Hawk, his beam is still nerfed. It does 50% damage to robots, so it sucks against robots. And also we have Titan repair amplifiers now, so it sucks against Titans as well. You'll find that you can actually do the most damage as Hawk while you're sitting on the ground, not when you have your super death beam unleashed. But he's just too fragile on the ground to actually dish out all that damage he has. So Hawk is like a Natasha with an occasional reflector. Orochi, however, it really it really pleasantly surprised me. I thought that it would act just like Aljun. I thought it would suck, um, but it was way better than Aljun. I, I was getting like god likes with this. I was beating lynxes with this. Like I, I really couldn't believe it. Um, and the thing is, is just really because, first of all, since it has two charges, the charge will cool down while you're in your ability. So even though the, the ability cooldown looks really long, it's 22 seconds, it's really only about 18 seconds. Now, I would suggest you don't use the M Bridget pilot because she gives you another charge, which is great, but you lose duration for your charges, which only adds up to like one second extra of stealth, but also another 22 second cooldown you need to wait on, which is just way too much. You usually end up on Orochi, you can't even get the two charges again after you use them. You'll just be using the ability every time you get one charge back. So I definitely, I would definitely say use the Ghost pilot rather than the M, M Bridget pilot. And you we might actually find some success. Orochi just, it, it's fine. It's kind of fragile. It is very fragile, but they keep giving it like these 10% durability buffs. I think they did it like twice in a row now. So now there's basically nothing Aljun has on Orochi. Orochi is just like better because uh, it used to be that like, you know, they were all basically the same with the super long cooldown stuff, but Orochi's ability is just better, and it also has about the same amount of health as Aljun now. So Orochi is pretty decent. As for the Hells, um, Hell Skatey Snare, one, some of the worst nerfed weapons in the game, they got their reload, like, increased so much they take forever to reload, but even though Pixonic refuses to buff the reload back, they keep buffing the damage. They buffed them by like 15%, 15%, 40%. They, they just keep giving them damage buffs, and now they are really good burst weapons. They also are good at applying effects. They'll apply the freeze, and with the paralysis drone, they'll apply the lockdown as well. It's just, it's, they're, they're acceptable weapons as long as you're using a robot that works well with them. Like, you wouldn't want to put them on a Fenrir because you're going to be stuck reloading while you're sitting in front of a Fenrir that has like hammers or something and he's still doing damage to you. But on something like a Siren or a Harpy, they're actually good because you're going to be sitting there waiting on your ability cooldown as well. And that's the same thing with the Orochi. Like, they could reload while I'm waiting on my cooldown to come back. So, uh, I'm really surprised. The 2022 stuff didn't age that poorly. They are acceptable. Uh, not great, but acceptable. But now, how about we take a look at 2023? And I think 
things kind of went south from there. Here we have so many items that got nerfed, it was really hard to choose what was the worst nerf of 2023. Like, it was between, like, Nether and Angler and Mars and, and Seraph, and for the weapons, like, we have the the, the Korean lasers, the Taija Huanji, uh, and the uh, Yoji, and then also the Clawjaw Talon. I ended up going with the Mars with the, the Jaws, because I just think that this one had the far furthest fall from grace. As you guys know, these Rust Rockets were broken when they first came out. They were insane. They nerfed them so badly. They reduced the fire rate like so much they take like i think 20 seconds to unload one mag it is just ridiculous uh and the mars they they it's like made of paper now its turret doesn't do anything literally you can ignore the turret the turret is genuinely useless it doesn't do real damage and it doesn't even hit the enemies most of the time because enemies are just so fast they can run to the side and the turret will miss every shot genuinely mars has become a robot with a speed boost and agus and three medium weapons and i can think of a robot with a speed boost and an agus and six light weapons that's called dagon and then a speed boost and an agus and four medium weapons that's called a ghost typhon uh so yeah mars sucks uh mars in a definitely a rough spot jaw claw talon these things god i don't even know what to say about them they, they shoot so slow it's so depressing how slow they shoot you can't really output very good damage with these things uh, the only benefit they have is against titans if you use them against titans uh these have one of the very few limited effects there's only like three things in the game that can that can bypass the titan repair amplifiers that's reapers the blast effect and the fragility effect of these these rockets you can reduce the uh defense points effectiveness of the titan and you can help your teammate win a titan fight but if the titan looks at you and tries to shoot you good luck now we'll go on to ophian this was the most recent nerf. Again, this was really hard to choose. We had like the Labyrinth series of weapons, the Ochikochi and Ochikochi's weapons, and Dagon's weapons, uh, the Dampers, the Tricksters, the Tamers, those all got nerfed so bad. And I think the worst ones, the worst nerfs were to Ophion and the Dampers. The nerf to the Dampers was rough. Dampers are like Punishers, but they do less damage and they apply Rust instead. That's basically what it is. They're like Punisher, Punisher and Punisher T. That's what their damage looks like. If they're actually a little lower than them. So you won't be doing good damage. All you can do is apply the Rust. So when more people start getting the Avalon battleship, uh, these weapons are done for because their whole thing is they just apply Rust. That's all they can really do. Ophion, however, I think he's in an okay spot. Um, if you take off the stealth pilot and you run him with the uh, speed boosting pilot and you also put on some immune amplifiers, you also want a lot of speed skills, you can get back some of that speed. The reduction to its duration, it sucks. Uh, it really is noticeable, but its cooldown is still really fast and its speed is still fast. It's still a pretty beefy robot. You can slither away, get behind cover, wait for your thing come back. It's not nearly as good as it was before, but it's still decent. I still use this in my main hangar and I don't mind it. Also, you'll see here I used it with Hiroko, there is this weird, like, I guess hidden ability Hiroko has where any robot that has a built-in weapon that applies effects, like Ophian's built-in weapon which applies blast, the speed at which that effect is applied gets increased if you equip Hiroko for some reason. I have no idea why. For some reason, uh, K. O'Donnell and Fainters can do this as well, but of course I couldn't use those because I'm using the Dampers. And similar to uh, what I was saying with the Jaws, which are few weapons that can actually mitigate Titans with Titan Repair Amplifier, which are like the most broken things in the game right now, I, I suggest that if you have it and you immediately shelved it after you saw the nerf, maybe, maybe bring it back out, give it a couple more games. Now for the Titan, this didn't really follow the same exact convention as the robots where we were going by year. I just picked the worst nerf Titan and the worst nerf weapons. Uh, Aether got like just the biggest nerf of any Titan, worse than even Newton. It had like this huge block in the patch notes that was like Aether reduced everything by 99%. And yeah, it's rough now. I, I talked about Aether uh, enough in my Titan tier list video. If you'd like to go and check that out, you can see more in depth my thoughts on Aether. To put it simply, force field bad. Uh, doesn't protect you. For the weapons, Tonan's Fulgur, take the cake. Worst nerf ever. Like, 5 second reload to a 12 second reload and damage minus 35%. I don't even know what to say like some people say these weapons are still okay and you can see like uh, I can show a clip of me one-shotting Luchador but I can also show a clip of me shooting an actual like well-leveled Luchador and then you see the image I do and it's like yeah you get to do one little burst of damage like that every 12 seconds he's going to jump on you and kill you before you get to kill him Uh, their reload is just too long. They they just suck now. I would really not suggest you ever invest in this weapon or Titan. Most basic recap is that the Ophian is 
probably of all of the super hard nerfed robots, the Ophian survived the best. And as the weapons get older, there are some weapons that actually manage to make a little comeback, like the Hells and the Nucleons, the Corkers, the Calamities. But the robots seem to usually not make the comeback. The, the robots are just really mediocre. But uh, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. That's all I got to say.